What's up? It's like take that tape, and that's right. I am back. Uh, probably, you know, my video output over the next few sort of you know weeks is going to be a bit shaky because I've got a few sort of technical issues I need to sort out. Um, I'm basically where I've been. I'm going to explain it all now because I'm sure you know everyone's been uh, really upset and desperate to know where I've been. Uh, I've been uh, sort of moving house, uh, moving into to, to university. Uh, I've you know moved out of my my parents' place and found a, a place sort of in London. And I uh, moved there with uh, some of my friends. And uh, unfortunately for the first two weeks, we did not have any internet. So I've just been sort of going mental, uh, <laughs> you know, going crazy, sort of in the fetal position on my sofa, just waiting for the internet to come back. Because, you know, aside from obviously playing on, you know, online gaming, uh, you know, internet is just crucial for me. You know, it's part of my routine. It's part of what I am as a person. Uh, that's a little bit sad. But it is true. It's a big part of my life. You know, I, I use it all the time, uh, you know, to... You know, Facebook, YouTube, Google, everything, TV, whatever, you know, you name it. I, I need the internet to enjoy, and to enjoy it properly. So, uh, so we've been struggling without that. So trust me, you know, it's been really bad. Uh, I haven't really been enjoying it. So I haven't been able to play at all and obviously I haven't been able to upload. Um, now, as for uploading in the future, um, I need to get this adapter because basically I was using my, my parents' screen at my old place which I could just plug my HD PVR into easily but my own screen that I have is just a monitor which doesn't have the appropriate cables and, and leads and uh, you know scar outlets so I need to buy an adapter um, so I can you know plug my HD PVR into it which I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get hold of one um, it, they're quite they're not too expensive I think they're about 30 40 quid but you know I need to uh, I need to sort of you know, gather that money together because I am a student after all uh, so I'm not made of not made of money uh, but you know, as soon as I get that sorted out, I'll be posting regularly again. I've got a few gameplays set on my hard drive. I've got a cool um, next instalment of Classes to Make You Lactate, which I'm sort of excited for. It's a bit different, uh, so you know, look forward to that coming out. Uh, but you know, uh, it's going to be a bit sporadic, to say the least, in, in the next few weeks until I can get it all sorted out. But uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm back for now. Uh, I've, I'm posting this gameplay. It's an Afghan domination gameplay I got a couple of weeks ago. So I don't really remember it too well. Uh, so the commentary on it's going to be a bit shaky. But I think I was just sort of doing my thing. If I were recalling this game, uh, pretty much everyone on my team raped. Uh, the game was quite short, and uh, I'm sure no one on the other team had a lot of fun. Uh, I definitely wouldn't if I were them. Uh, I get, I do, I think I'm running 5.7.9, so I've got my payload on. Uh, and, you know, the ACR are pretty standard. But, you know, I do what I do, do what I do. <laughs> uh, ACO and Afghan, pretty pretty standard lactate. But uh, that's not really what I'm going to be talking about, even though I've yapped on for about three minutes already uh, about, um, uh, you know, where I've been and all about myself. What I really want to talk about sort of the hot topic of the moment is uh, Modern Warfare 3. Now, you know, obviously the Cod XP was this weekend, and since then there have been literally probably a hundred billion trillion, or obviously that's a bit of an exaggeration, but there's been a lot of, videos uh, about you know Modern Warfare 3 and the multiplayer obviously the trailer was released and and they uh, Robert Bowling and all that explained about um, you know what's going to be what we can expect in terms of guns kill streaks gameplay mechanics all that so you know I just wanted to sort of throw in my uh, two cents worth and sort of talk about what I you know I'm excited for and what I'm not so excited for um, you know the first thing I'm really glad to see just looking at it it looks very Modern Warfare 2 uh, sort of COD 4 sort of thing uh, there's no black ops in there at all uh, the game's very pretty it runs really nicely um, the guns all look very similar you know the, the physics uh, you know obviously the game engine's identical and that, that makes me really happy so I know I'm going to be sort of in my comfort zone and, oh my god damn snipers but you know so I know I'm going to be in my comfort zone uh, in terms of that and sort of you know generally the gameplay is going to be pretty good I uh, run 60 frames per second so it's going to look nice too so I'm really glad about that um, other things I'm glad about, I've seen that uh, panic knifing is going to be taken out. One of the biggest ways I die in this game, I think I, someone gets, actually gets me from it in this gameplay, is just people knifing me randomly, either through, you know, I've surprised them, or just through, you know, just to knife, because, you know, it's, it's generally the knifing on this game is so ridiculous. Um, you know, that's been taken out. I think they're going to make it either part of your equipment, or sort of a combination of buttons, but either way, you're not just going to be able to knife someone on a whim anymore. You're going to have to properly sort of, you know, get your knife out and, and, and have the intention to knife. Uh, obviously, you know, I'm sure there'll still be some people running around with a tat knife or whatever, but, you know, it's not going to be a case of you run into someone, bump into someone, they just knife you and you don't know what's happened, which actually is one of the, probably one of the main re ways I die, and very, very frustrating. Uh, speaking of knifing, you know, um, obviously there will be people running around with knives anyway, because, you know, douches exist, but there's going to be no commando and you know, no stopping, no uh, noob tubing and, you know, uh, also one-man army, 
and, uh, and, and all the you know, danger close and all that stuff, you know, that really needs to be taken out. Last Dan's finally gone as well, you know, but you, you guys already probably know all that, but it excites me nonetheless. Uh, now, there is actually going to be no stopping power in this game. Um, what they've done is what I think is a really good idea and what I've sort of wanted to do. See right there, just get knifed, because, you know, easier than shooting. But uh, <laughs> what, what um, I'm excited about what, what they've done is that they've taken stopping power away, but they've increased the bullet damage of all the guns. So it's not going to be a sort of situation where you know you can't kill anyone quickly or you can't take out big groups of people because your gun's not powerful enough. But at the same time, you you know you're not tied to that one perk because in, I mean in this game basically if you're not running stopping power, you're going to need to you know be pretty damn good with your map navigation. You're going to be needing to use a gun with um, either high damage or high fire rate. Um, and, and using it effectively is very difficult. Basically, you need to be using stopping power on almost every gun. Stopping power improves every single gunfight you get into, uh, improves your chances of winning it. But they've taken that out, but they've made the guns more powerful. So I think that's a really good idea. I've sort of been, you know, wanting that for a long time. Uh, obviously, you know, new tubing. There, I think uh, there are a few sort of substitutes to it, but basically, it's not going to be anything like what we've seen before in terms of it's not going to be overpowered. It's not going to be just you know a, a one-way ticket to what's that guy doing? Uh, he was new tubing, but it's not going to be like a one-way ticket to just you know uh, beast games and just you know an easy time and pissing everyone off in the lobby basically. Um, and finally, the other thing I'm really looking forward to is sort of the point streak system. Uh, you know, obviously they're not going to be just rewarding kills anymore. They're going to be rewarding uh, points as well, um, and, and sort of ob objective-based gameplay uh, and then sort of point streak. Uh, and I think that's really cool, sort of encouraging people to play the objective. My one sort of qualm about it, one thing I'm a little bit worried about, is that it might even in increase camping a little bit more. I mean, if you know that people are going to be getting, uh, you know. Uh, points for, for capping a flag and therefore a bit more desperate to cap it it probably gives you a bit more of incentive to sort of just watch the flag and try and build up your own kills because at the end of the day you know kd is something people do care about for better or for worse and uh you know i can see that happening a little bit um other things i'm not too sure about obviously death streaks are back i don't know why uh, why is that a good idea i know they're trying to you know equalize it and try and make it you know easy to play and easy to pick up for new new players but I, I don't think Death Streets is the way, you know, some guy that's died five times in a row because he's, he's a scrub, you haven't even seen him and he's got, you know, a grenade in his hand or a C4 or something like that. I don't think that's cool. Um, I don't really like the idea that uh, also that, uh, you know, support kill streaks don't end when you die because to me that's just not a kill streak. And I don't see why someone that goes maybe like 14 and 40 deserves a stealth bomber. But uh, but yeah, sorry, that, that's gameplay running up. I knew I was chatting too much about myself at the beginning, ran out of time. But uh, yeah, final score, 15-7, so not a bad game. 15-6, uh, really. I got nuked at the end. That doesn't count. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about Modern Warfare 3. Also, COD Elite. That's a little quick thing I want to throw in. Are, are you going to get it? I'm sort of debating it on the fence right now. No, some people are definitely going to get it. Some people that definitely aren't. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you, your thoughts are on Modern Warfare 3. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. Bye.